Hello everyone, let's talk about another hard problem on lead code today, integer to English words, lead code 273. In this problem, we are given a non-negative integer, num, and we have to return its English words representation. So for example, for 1, 2, 3, it will be 123. For 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will be 12,345. And for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it will be 1,234,567. So when it comes to this problem, it is hard for two reasons. One, it has a lot of edge cases. And second, writing the code for this problem in 30 minutes in the interview settings, covering all the edge cases is also challenging because our mind should be calm. Now let's see how we can actually solve this problem. So first thing we should check is what are the constraints of the problem. In lead code, it is given that number should be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to two to the power of 31 minus one. So that means our minimum number can be 0 and our maximum number can be 2,147,483,647, right? So that means we are talking about answer between 0 and billions. If there are no constraints, of course, we can make the numbers tri trillions, quadrillions, or I don't know how many billions are there or zillions are there. So constraints here give us a starting and ending point of our solution. So now let's start building a solution. Unfortunately, we have to solve the solution using brute force only. Only friend that we will see is recursion, but let's see how we can actually do it. So let's now start building this solution in a bottom of way. So first number we see is zero and we see that corresponding English word for it is Z-E-R-O. So we will just check it in the if condition and return this hard-coded string zero. Similarly, when we see one, we will return this hard-coded value one here. Then we go to two. And again, we can't use any logic or anything. This is how two is spelled in English. So we will just return it. Then we come to three and then return three. Now we go to four. But wait a minute. In case of four also, we will return F-O-U-R, right? So how about instead of having so many if conditions, we start using hash table. So we can just keep the number as key and value will be the corresponding string that we will return. So this is how our hash table will look. So now when someone passes zero, we will return zero. When someone passes one, we will just return the string one. And this is how we will build the map till say 10 because we can see that this is how the pattern is. And maybe with 11, there is some luck. And now for numbers after 10, we continue to see weird English words instead of some pattern. For example, when we see one one together, we get it back as 11, not 1t1 or 1 1, right? Similarly, in case of 1 2, we return 12 and not 1t2, right? And then from 13 onwards, the teens start. So again, we have to hard code everything and let's put them in the map. So now let's rename our map from less than equal to 10 to below 20 to reflect this. And now when someone passes number less than 20, we will just return it from the map because there is no logic involved. That's how English language is. Then we come to numbers more than equal to 20, but less than 100. Then we see that 20 is first number here and we will return corresponding string 20. Again, no surprises. We can either put it into the map or we can do something interesting. Let's see. Then we go to 21. Then it starts to make a sense because we have already seen 20 and 1. So maybe we can combine them somehow. Then we see 22. Again, there is some logic. And now we see 30, which again we have to save somewhere. And then we see 31. Again, we can form it from 30 and 1. So how about we create the hash table for tens? That is 20, 30, 40. Because when we see 21, we get the corresponding value for two, that is 20. And when we see one, we have already stored it in a below 20 hash map. So we will get the corresponding value one for that. Similarly, for three, we will get 30. For four, we will get 40 and so on. And note that we are storing it as 40 F-O-R-T-Y, not F-O-U-R-T-Y, because otherwise we will get errors in lead code test cases. Now let's see how we can convert these numbers to strings. For example, now we see 21. We can see that actually it breaks to two and one. So we divide 21 by 10. So we get two as a divisor. So we can get the corresponding value from tens, which is 20. And similarly for the remaining digit, we can actually use modulo 10. So we will get one. So now either we can get the corresponding string value from below 20 map, or we can actually call this function again recursively with one as number in it. And then we will get corresponding string back. And then we will concatenate the number strings from tens map and below 20 map and add a space in between to keep the English wording correct. Similarly, we will do the same thing for other numbers like these as well. For example, for 35, we will divide 
35 by 10 so we will get 3 we will get corresponding value from 10's map as 30 similarly when we apply modulo 10 on 35 we will get 5 and then we get the corresponding value from below 20 map as string so then we will again concatenate it with a space and finally we get 35 as english words but now we have to fix one case suppose our input number is 30 and now we divide it by 10 so we will get 3 and the corresponding string from norms map will be 30 but on the right we will get 30 modulo 10 as 0 so from the below 20 map we will get 0 as the string and when we concatenate the two strings we will get 30 0 which is not correct so we will kick out 0 from below 20 map and we will handle 0 separately so so far so good now we go to numbers more than 100 but below 1000 now let's look at some examples for 100 we can see that we get 100 for 101 we will get 101 for 123 we will get 123 and now in terms of algorithm we will continue to build on this logic that whenever we are building a bigger number we will actually get the smaller numbers on the left by dividing the number by multiple of 10 and on the right by doing the modulo operator with the same multiple of 10 and finally we concatenate the string representation from smaller numbers and get the string representation for the current number and now suppose we have to convert 121 to its english representation then if we apply that same recursive logic again instead of now dividing the number by 10 we will divide the number by 100 and we will get one on the left so we will now pass it to our recursive function and get the corresponding english word then we concatenate it with 100 and on the right side we will do 121 modulo 100 so that will give us 21 and then we will again pass it to our recursive function and it will actually get our answer as 21 so when we concatenate we will get value as 121 similarly for 321 we divide 3 to 1 by 100 we get 3 so we convert it to corresponding string then we concatenate 100 and on the right side we again get 321 modulo 100 as 21 so we convert that to 21 as a string and concatenate it so then we get 321 as the answer now we go to numbers greater than equal to 1000 but which are below million and then we again apply the same rule so instead of dividing by 100 now we will divide by 1000 again we will split it up into two parts left and right so on the left side we get the number one so we convert it to string one then we concatenate 1000 because we are dividing by 1000 now and on the right side we will get 1210 modulo 1000 so that is 210 so we will actually pass it to our recursive function and get corresponding english words so that is 210 so in the end we will get 1210 as an answer similarly let's take a slightly bigger example so suppose our number is 654321 and now when we divide by 1000 we get 654 so corresponding english words are 654 then we concatenate 1000 and then we apply the modulo 1000 on the number so we will get 3 to 1 and that gives us 321 as English representation so our final answer is 654,321 now let's go to the case where numbers are greater than or equal to million but below billion then our divisor now becomes 1 million so now suppose our number is 7654321 so now when we divide this number by million we get 7 on the left then we concatenate million now and on the right side we will do the recursive call on 654321 which we actually calculated in our previous example so it will become 654321 so after concatenating all of these we will get 7654321 as the english representation and finally the last case is when numbers are more than equal to billion in this case now we will divide by billion we already saw in constraints that our limit was approximately 2.1 billion so here we will either see one or two but doesn't matter so now suppose our example is 1987654321 then we will divide this number by billion so we will get one on the left we concatenate it with billion and on the right we will find the answer for 9876543321 so this will give us ah so this will give us 987 million 654,321. So, our final answer after concatenation will be 1,987,654,321. So, now we are done with all the cases. Now, let's jump into the code part. So, first thing we will do is we will create all the maps. 
like below 20 or tens. And in this problem, we don't have to create like a hash map, but we can actually use an array as a hash table because all the numbers are ordered and together. So for example, one follows two or two follows three. So we can actually use array as a hash map. And for today, I will cheat a bit in the sense that writing this whole thing down will take a lot of time. And there can be a lot of typos when writing these English words. So I will just copy paste the maps here. So first map will be below 20. And note that the first value, that is zeroth value is empty because zero is silent in the English words. Only time we care about zero is when input number is zero. Similarly, for index one, we return one. For index two, we return two. Similarly, for index 16, we are returning 16. And similarly, we will create tens hash map or tens hash table. So again, we will use array for that. So here index one is empty because numbers after 10 but below 20 don't follow any rule and they are all different. So they are all covered in below 20 map anyways. So we don't need 10 here. Again, zero is empty because we don't care about zero again. But from two onwards, we can see that we return 20 for three, we return 30 for six, we return 60. And that's how we have our tens map. And finally, for readability purpose, I will define the variables billion, million, thousand and hundred. So for billion, we have one, zero 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 so in java we can use underscore to separate the digits in the integer similarly we will do the same thing for million thousand and hundred of course for hundred and thousand i don't think we need to use the underscores of course we can do that but the readability is already good now the first special case that we have to handle is if num is equal to zero if yes then we will just return zero because that is our special case. Other than that, when we are doing the recursive calls, zero is not at all needed. And finally, we start our recursion. So we will pass the number to our recursive call. And in the helper class, we will just take in the integer and return English words representation of the number. Maybe we can use string builder for better performance, but I am using string for better code readability because otherwise we will be seeing a lot of append, append, append in the code. And I want to avoid that. So our first case was if number was less than 20. In that case, we will just return English word from below 20 map, right? And note that I'm not returning the answer here. We will come to this in a second. Then if number is less than 100, then the divisor is 10, right? So we will get the corresponding value from the tens map on the left. We add a space here. And on the right, we can actually pass in nums modulo 10 to the helper function or below 20 map. Either will work. Similarly, if num is less than 1000, maybe I can now use these variables. If nums is less than 1000, if yes, then we will just divide number by 100 instead of 10 and concatenate 100 here. Plus, we will do the modulo operator on 100. Now, now we, we will, will do, do the similar, similar thing, thing for, for numbers, numbers less than, than million. million. We can copy this code now. Check if it is less than million, then we will divide it by thousand and concatenate these numbers with thousand. And now we check for number less than billion. Again, copy paste the same code, but now we will check for billion and divide by million and paste million here because we are dividing by million, right? And finally, when we are here, then the number is definitely more than billion. So in this case, we will just divide it by billion. We get here billion. And on the right side, we will do modulo operator with billion. So that's it. And I think I made one mistake. All these hundreds and thousands should have a space around them. Otherwise, we will get an error. And finally, we will return the trimmed answer. And the reason for this is our answer string may have extra spaces at the end. For example, if num is less than 20, here we could have returned the answer here itself. But wherever we are actually adding the strings, in this case, for example, take the case of 30. So then we will get 3 here. Then we will get corresponding 10 as 30. We will add a space to it. But here we will get 0 and corresponding value here will be empty string. So we will get output as 30 and then there would have been an extra space. So for such scenarios, we should just trim the string and then only return it. So now let's run this code. Okay. Oh, it should not be answer. It should be number. Now it should be good. And is there any other error? Line number 28 as well. 
oh i'm using nums here instead of num so i should be doing num everywhere so now let's run it again awesome let's submit this code ah <laughs> yeah i should be returning z as caps and all the other numbers as small let's submit it again cool in terms of time complexity it is o of log 10 n where n is the input number and the reason for this is at each step we are actually dividing the number by multiple of 10 be it billion million thousand hundred in the worst case number is equal to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1 which is approximately equal to 2.1 billion and now when we divide this number we will get 2 on the left and 100 million on the right so we will just continue dividing then 100 million by millions so at each step we are actually reducing our recursion magnitude by multiple of tens and finally when the number is less than 20 we get the answer from the array in o of one time similarly in terms of space complexity also it will be o of log n because because at each step we are going deeper into the recursion and maximum recursion depth will be log 10 n again and in the worst case that is for number 2 to the power of 31 minus 1 the recursion depth will be around 10 for example if n is around 2.1 billion then it will be 2.1 into 10 to the power of 9 right so if we do the log 10 of this it will be around 0.2 into 10 to the power of 10 right so if we take a log of this then we will at maximum get 10 recursive calls in the worst case so this is at space and time complexity we covered the bottom up recursion solution but we can also code the top down recursion solution where we will actually divide the number by billion first then we will go to the million instead of building it bottom up i've also shared the code for that on my blog please check it out i hope this video was useful to you if it was please like and subscribe have a nice time thank you